Oh my brand goodness. New props. That's right, baby. We just got brand new props. We are on the way to get the boat insurance survey done. Today, we're doing all sorts of stuff. The hinges have kind of gone crappy. Plus, the captain is about to get busy. I have to swap them over to right-handed. We're gonna take you through adjusting and installing max props. Are you, are you leaving with the prop? Notch right here, line that up. Our last props were too corroded to repair, so we've purchased this sexy new pair for Calypso. And these will hold the bolt on, which holds your prop on. We'll also get into some crappy boatyard workmanship. They need to do that better. The captain isn't happy. The barnacle buster solution is in the bucket. Are you ready? Let's do it. But they did the sh job standing. Uh. Do you suck on this one? Oh, yeah. Mother's no. <laughs> We've arrived at the boatyard to find that the boat has a coat of paint on it. That one's heavy. I'm done. I don't like that they did. I mean, he needs to sand that down. All these little chips, they should be sanded. This yard requires you to use their workers for this work. You can't do it yourself. Jeremiah told them not to do anything without us here. So this is a surprise, or maybe not such a surprise. And there's a lot of them. Yeah, there are. They need to do that better. The thing is, they're already putting paint on there. So we're gonna talk to them about that. Mm-hmm. We had a patron send us some, he owns Barnacle Buster, and uh, he sent us a whole kit. So while we're on the heart, we're gonna undo our AC lines and. We're gonna clean out the compressors in the AC units with the barnacle buster. So he gave us the kit, which is awesome. He sent it to us, and we're finally gonna be able to use it. I'm hoping the barnacle busters fix our AC high. What is it? High water? No, not high, high water. Pressure. High pressure alarm. I'm thinking about the high water alarm. So I'm excited. I hope it fixes it. Thank you to the patron that gave us these. You are awesome, helping us out. We appreciate it. Our plan today was to try to flush the ACs, but first we need to get up this freaking ladder. Barnacle Buster is a solution you can flush through your ACs to remove gunk from the inside of the pipes. I ran to the store with Reese real quick. I didn't think Jeremiah was going to get to this and I came back and he was doing the Barnacle Busters, which is awesome. At first he was like cursing it like crazy. And then I walked away, went and used the bathroom, came back and he's like, it's working. We did have to like kind of maneuver it and do our own fittings, but thankfully we have about a bajillion fittings. There's our dirty water. The motor inside the bucket just circulates the solution. Pretty cool. The Barnacle Busters solution is in the bucket, diluted. It runs through the tube. There's a motor in there as well. It runs through the tube, through the compressor, back out the other tube, basically like filtering it. Um, we have friends that did this. They had to do it twice. Like they did it one time and it made a, a difference. And then the second time around, they were like, wow, what a difference. So. It takes about an hour to sit here and wait, and he's gonna work on the other one while I watch this one, just so it doesn't burst. Oh, he just loves cramming himself in these tight compartments. Just completed our hour of running the solution through. Now you're gonna flush it with just fresh water? No, I already did. Okay, cool. Flushed it, and then now I'm taking it all apart and putting the air conditioner back together, like it was. Just try to drain it, keep it low. We gotta try to get this. So a little careful work not to spill the water, and we're all set. We can't really test it until we're back in the water. So we've decided to go visit John. Decided to go visit John in his place. He'll be moving in a week. It'll be sad. John moves around a lot, so we're visiting while we still can. You gonna knock? Yes. What up? Hello. Welcome aboard. So we decided to come to his place and drink. That's right. <laughs> we're gonna have another Saturday night party and an early, early birthday. Ooh, early birthday. birthday! Is it for you? No. Yes. Oh, is it? I think it's for me. I think it's for you. <laughs> it's if it's coming. Reese's birthday, I forgot to get him something. <laughs> no, it's not his birthday. March 1st, silly. March 1st. March 1st. I'll make a note. So March 1st. 
so they put the first coat of bottom paint on, like they weren't supposed to do it, right? Right. And we left, so they did it. But they did the sh sh job sanding. It looks like it looks like the surface of the moon. Really? Like it's just no, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Just like craters. Dude, it's, I went it's over ridiculous. with my nail and just picked it right it's off. Stupid. So I called the guy. He's like, "Well, we need to fix this." And, uh, yeah, so we need to uh, have a few beers and celebrate your birthday. Yeah. Anticipatory celebration of your birthday. It's gonna be so great. Um, 25. Yeah. Forever 25. Forever 25. I was gonna reverse my numbers, but then it makes me older. So yeah. like, Trust it. me, I've already yeah, gotten in trouble for aging you once. Well, look at you. It's like back in the day. Yeah, it's basically the only nipple I have. <laughs> at least have access to. Do you suck on this one? Oh, yeah. Mother's no. <laughs> it's always a good time. Next up, it was time to ship off the old props to PYI in Washington State. We're hoping to get them refurbished. We got our props shipping out. Um, it's about a week to get there, $357. And then hopefully they get them turned around and shipped back to us. We'll find out that this was a waste of money because the props were toast. But hey, we tried. We are on the way to get the boat insurance survey done. Uh, it wasn't needed by our insurance. Well, we're coming up on a couple years since we've had it done at least three. So we figured, okay, if we need to switch insurance, they're probably gonna ask us for an insurance survey. It's out of the water, let's just knock it out. We've used this guy before. He's quick and easy, efficient to the point. We like him. We like the idea of knocking out an insurance survey well on the heart. We've had insurance companies request one before. Then you have to haul out just for that. This gets us a survey to have at the ready. What do you think of being on the hard? I'd rather be in the sea. It's a little high up, huh? I'd rather be in the sea. You would? Yep. We're pretty high up there. We're about 100 hours up. 100 hours or 100 feet? 100 hours. That it doesn't make sense. So, it took 100 hours to get all the way up here. Oh, okay. 100 hours back down. Maybe 100 seconds. You're getting it. No, 100 hours. 100 half seconds. No, 100 hours. I did not like climbing up that ladder. I felt very uneasy. Well, that's probably because the water can't hold you. The water can barely what? hold Dad. The it water, can hold me. The water can barely hold Dad. You're it as heavy probably, as Dad. I am not as heavy as Dad. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm really not, but thank you. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. These two Williams and Platt instruments here, uh, they've been mounted right here ever since we bought Calypso, which we really like. We really like how they look when they're up here, but neither one of them really work. I mean, you can see this is not working and that never really works. Um, along with that, the hinges have kind of gone crappy. They have a lifetime warranty, so we're gonna send these in and hopefully about eight weeks, we should get some more back. So while we was on the hard, we figured probably the best time to do it. So like on this, yeah, it it's, it's like rough. Oh, yeah. on the uh, up here it looks more shiny. Yeah, well, yeah, it looks a little better up there, but it's gonna look really nice when we get the new one. Seems pretty simple. You go on Weems and Plas website, you create an account, and then you put in an order for your stuff to get reworked. They ask what it is and what's wrong with it, and then they yeah, email you uh, shipping, basically a slip to put in your package, and then the address to ship them to, and they'll come back to you, hopefully looking brand new and acting brand new. Um, we've never been stopped long enough to get it done eight weeks to a cruiser's like, whoa, I only want to be stopped eight hours really, or eight days, you know, eight weeks is a long time, but because it's on the hard and we got stuff going on, I think we have time. And if not, we'll just get them mailed to us. These are just old because they're all rusted. These have been on the to-do list forever. Calypso got another perfect report. Well, not perfect. There's some little things, like She's always. Amazing. You don't want a, a survey to be perfect. It looks like you faked it. Yeah. But, um, yeah. No, she's amazing. He, we used them last time. Great guy, really knowledgeable. Gave us two really cool tips. Yeah. So, the one that I'm going to tell you about is one of my favorites. He said to write down, when you check into customs through different countries, you're island hopping, write down that um, I'm the pilot. Jeremiah's always the captain. I'm the pilot. We've been doing me as the first mate. So if you write down that you're the pilot, if something were to happen to the captain, they'll let the pilot take the boat out of the anchorage. Um, if you're down as a first mate, they will not let you take the boat out of the anchorage. That would really suck. Yeah. I'd be like, uh, I'm just gonna live here with Reese for the rest of my life, yeah. I guess, because I'm not leaving the boat. Um, yeah. And then the second 
tip that he told us about was really cool. I'll let Jeremiah tell you that one. So bilge pumps, bilge pumps are always an issue, right? You always worry about your bilge pump not working, whatever. And let's say you have a uh, emergency and you're trying to get water out of the boat. He was like, hey, the bilge pump won't save your boat. Um, and I believe that because we've had bilge pumps fail, but he said uh, one thing you could do, and I guess he did it, was uh, after the water pump for the generator, slice the line, the water line, and put a little Y valve there, and then take it and put that second line into the bilge. So, and then you just keep it on the, the generator side all the time. But if you had an emergency and you had to try to get water out, you just switch that Y valve over and now the water, the generator is gonna suck the water out of the village, which is a great idea. I mean, that's like a, a powered engine that will sit there and just run, 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 run. It's, it's not like just running off battery power, you know? So that's just another thing that, you know, could save your boat if you had an issue. So, and it's so easy to do. I mean, seriously, you just have to take the line, the hose, slice it, put a little Y valve in there, and put the other one down in the bilge. The only thing is you have to make sure if you do it, uh, you want to switch it back and don't, you know, you don't want to run the generator dry. But in an emergency situation, I would love to have that situ that Y valve to be able to just fire it up, pump it out. A $40 upgrade that you can come up with to save your boat. He knew a boat that did it and saved their boat from going to the Certain down under death. yeah um and we were like i wonder why they just don't do that to begin with it was time to enjoy the holidays and wait for the new props to arrive look who i found yeah man oh my Brand goodness new props. this is calypso's christmas present seriously and birthday and anniversary yeah. yeah and every other present you can imagine yeah the other props they said when they pulled them apart inside was just completely destroyed with calcium and stuff and we'll talk more about that but uh we ended up having to replace them it was like several thousand just to try to refurbish them the old ones and there was no guarantee with them at all so for a little bit more we were able to replace them they gave us 10 percent off which is cool and here they are brand new max props we have 18 inch four blade props there they go look at that Ooh, fancy fancy Nice, right? Very nice. That's what a new prop looks like. I've yeah. never seen one without like all the, you know. Crap on it? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, they just came. These fancy fiber uh, styrofoam things. Uh, we're replacing the cutlass bearings right now. As soon as that's done, we'll put these back on and then we're going to prop speed them. Nice. Which will protect them. I think we'll protect them better than before. When we bought Calypso, the old props have been painted with bottom paint and I didn't like, like, the result of that it just grew barnacles and stuff and i've heard really good reviews on the prop speed so we've uh ordered that and we're going to put that on there my goodness oh it's heavy yeah they are heavy pick them up like by the blades the outside of the blades oh my gosh wow how'd you do that yeah so this is our feathering right right it's like a full oh it's not full no, it, doesn't go, it goes all the way to a point, and then that's reverse or that's forward. Do you think it'll be easier to put them on than taking them off? No, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, we won't have to have a, like a puller to be able to do that like before. That was terrible. Well, you need me to help you. Yeah, you always need to help. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm excited. Yeah, very smooth, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. wild. They didn't send our old ones? No, they, they had, we had to pay for shipping and they were trash. I told him maybe I'll put them as like a decoration. He's like... I'll send you a bunch of zincs and, and gear and grease. I was like, oh, that's great. Yeah, he goes, then I'll recycle them. I was like, cool. That's great. And then we need to grease them every six months? Well, these, uh, from what he told me, they call for once a year. The old ones was every six months. These call for once a year. Um, but he said, you could probably go two and be okay. But we're going to do them like every, I'm going to check them all the time. So much for our 10 minute job. Yeah, these came as left handed. I have to swap them over to right-handed. So basically, our props spin clockwise, and these are rigged to spin counterclockwise. Talked to POII, Jerome up there. He gave me directions on how to do this right now. I took the circle clip out right here. You lift this hub up and you spin it, but these bolts seem to be getting in the way, and I have to, I have to swap the bolts anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap them now. You can actually change the, the pitch of your props with these bolts right here. 
These just hold the bolts in. One is like a 16 or one's a 20 or something like that. It's almost like a gearing and you can like get a little more speed or whatever. And people talk about it, but it sounds like that sounds great and all, but who's really gonna do that when it's under the water, you know, and that's difficult, but really it's not difficult. So like this, I don't see the, I don't see the number. I mean, it's over here. Here, that's the 16. See that? So the 16 is gonna swap over to the other side and this is, this, I think this might be a 20. 20. So with a, we are right-handed. So I imagine this is the forward pitch, 20, and the rear is 16. Maybe it's backwards, I don't know, but um, that's what we are. The little set screw goes in and it holds it in by the little bolts edges. So you have to make sure it's like a, a round spot. See, it's like right here. Mm -hmm. So that goes over where this bolt is. So right now it's set up with the left. So I remove the circlip out of here and then I'm, I just lift this up. You can see it's the little tick mark here is up to the left. And I just change that and I put that on the R for right. Let's slide back on. Now I'm going to rotate it until it pops on. And now you can see the right is lined up right here. And then we're going to put that circlip back on. Sir clips on. Good, it's touching. It's good to take a little something, make sure you can spin that sir clip because it will seat itself. You make sure it's seated. So I have a question. When you were going down to lubricate them, is this what you were using? Yep, yep. and we're actually going to do that right after we're done installing this prop. That's pretty interesting. We're going to grease them. So now I can see what all that frustration was for. That's right. Right? I'll show you exactly what. Yeah, because you kind of never, like, you weren't, you're never down there. No. Right. We're gonna put these puppies on and then we'll splash in the water in less than a week. How much do you think this weighs? I don't know, maybe 20 pounds, 25? What do you think? It's solid. It was pretty heavy when I picked it up earlier. All right, well, let's, there you go. Oh, I got it now. You gonna, do you leave it with the prop? <laughs> We're gonna put it on. You, where are you going? We're not putting it on yet. What, are, what exactly are you doing? I wanted you to come get a picture for a thumbnail. Oh, okay. This is my workout for the day. It's heavy. Well, why not? They are pretty sexy. We're going to go ahead and slide on our cutters. These are uh, kind of the John put on the boat. In case you ever caught like a, a crab pot or something like that. They're super sharp, so you gotta be careful with them. But they slide on just like this. Put them up there and get them out of the way. And then what we're gonna do is just slide the prop on, and then we're gonna make a mark on the shaft. All right. So, I just, so we slid it on, and now I'm just gonna make a mark where it reached, and then we're gonna pull it back off. Sweet. Didn't need a prop puller that time. This key is it's the old key. I'm just gonna reuse it because we didn't get new ones, but it just sits in here like this. And what you wanna make sure is that your prop's not sitting on the key. So we'll put the key in and then we'll slide the prop back on and make sure it's not getting hung up on it and make sure it gets back up to this line. There's a little notch right here. Line that up. You can see the prop got all the way up to that line, so that's good. And then you just bolt it on. You just screw it in, and then you put these two little set screws in, and these will hold the bolt on, which holds your prop on. Now believe me when I tell you, there's a lot of editing involved here, and it was a lot harder than it looked on YouTube. <laughs> just because of other little issues here and there. But you work through them as it happens. Make them snug. Lastly, he tightened down the prop shaft cutters. These little sprocket cutters are pretty sweet for cutting anything you might snag. And they're super sharp. I always like to go through after every, after the whole deal and just check all the bolts, make sure I didn't miss something. So they're on. Yeah, they are on. Now we're gonna throw a zinc on here. These zincs have a lot of different holes here. Six different holes, you only need to use three. Three of them are more inter inside and three of them are outside. It depends on your prop. I think that mine are inside, but the last one I put on, I just had to redo it once I put it on. Yeah, probably the other side. And then you just obviously, you want to thread all your bolts before you tighten anything down. 
always. Right, Reese? Yep. And then just tighten them down and and we'll be good to go. We're gonna, and then what we're gonna do is pop these little uh, fittings off and we're gonna grease them up. That way, when they use acetone and everything to clean these props up, it clean, makes them really pretty, clean, and then they're gonna paint them with prop speed. And that was it. Our time on the hard was complete. We got most of our list completed. Jeremiah greased the new props, the yard got the bottom paint right, and we scheduled our splash. Going on the hard kind of sucks, but it's great to get all this work done. Bow thruster's done, sand it down, primed, and painted. The blades were removed and cleaned up. Everything's painted, so that's cool. The props are on and we put prop speed on everything. We went ahead and put prop speed on the shaft, on the cutter, everything. Um, it almost feels like a tacky, it's like silicone, so it has a weird feeling. But another thing I did, uh, and this is a recommendation from Jerome, is the two bolts for the pitches, we're running a 20 in the front and a 16 in the rear. I went ahead and I just pulled them out to verify them one more time before we silicone them, but I put some silicone in there just so that, that would keep all the crap out. Because on our last props, this right here, you had to drill it out. I mean, it was terrible. So a little bit of silicone in there to fill that hole and we should be good to go. The paint job turned out not great, but it's, it's good for what we got going on. We had a lot of shipping and stuff. I think our next time we're probably gonna have to sandblast this down, but it looks good for right now. It will last us for a couple years for sure. Nice new props. Looking forward to getting this thing back in the water. Are you ready? I am so ready. We've been out for a month, right? It feels yeah. like forever. It feels like it's been a year. I'm ready yeah. to get her back in. She's already in the sling, so I think it'll probably be pretty easy. Pick us up, drop us in. We're gonna wait for a slack tide, and then we'll be heading on down the coast. Yeah, they're Let's actually see. gonna pull her. I don't know if they're gonna keep, I don't think they'll keep it on the sling overnight, but oh, what they did okay. is they went ahead and lifted the boat so that they could paint under the keels. So whenever you're sitting on the ground, you obviously can't get those spots because it's sitting on the ground. So what they do is if you're in a, a yard that does it, you want to be, uh, they'll take it off. They'll, put, they'll, they'll paint those spots um, that they miss. A lot of times they'll do this right when you launch and that kind of sucks because there's no way that's curing and stuff like that time. So this is we're one day previous to launching. So it's cool that we have it up and all that stuff's getting painted. Coming up. This is legit. We're back in the water and wrapping up a few items. A surveillance camera system. This stuff will last us four months. We're planning a big trip and getting everything ready to go, including getting Calypso's hull all dolled up. I'm just using like a Presta. I better see some like shining in the hull. Oh. She's gonna be shiny. Take the engine up to 80% for 30 minutes. Then we're off the dock and headed for the tropics. We've been hunkered down with high winds. Well, that was until... Make the baby pose. Oh, happy baby. Dum dum dum. That baby pose just might work because... Gosh, I don't know if it's ready for this. I need to see a clear uh, view of the flow of urine hitting the stick. I already see it. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.